The competitive advantage you develop with digital is to be closer to the customer, faster, The first thing that you really have to have when you want to drive digital transformation is to have a very engaged CEO. It cannot be one objective amongst a dozen of others. The second thing is that you have to embed your digital transformation into your business strategy. So it cannot be a side objective, it needs to be embedded into your business objectives. And the third thing that I think is really important when you embark into a digital uh, transformation is to have digitally savvy people who understand also the industry or the company that you're working on. Otherwise, you'll have a, a clash of objectives or understanding of what you need to do. So what the CEO needs to do is find a way to have digital completely embedded in one, two or three of the business initiatives, because then that will force the business leaders to be engaged, it will force a reallocation of some cost, and it will force this to be part of the ongoing business discussion that you have with the company. I've seen recently a lot of companies, I would say mostly big companies, who think that digital is important, Therefore, they go on to a digital transformation, but they're not really clear on what metrics they are going to uh, track along the way, nor are they on how it is going to impact their business model. You might not have all the answers to what is the end game or the end business models, but you do need to have metrics along the way. The biggest challenge you have when you lead a digital revolution is the internal resistance. If you want to lead a digital uh, transformation, you do need to have strong, recognized operational leaders who are embarking on it, who you can work with to demonstrate a winning story. Because once they realize what you can do and how much better you can serve your customers, then everybody is going to follow them. So you need to find these people and and find a success story, you do need to have the ability to bring on board people who are thinking differently. And this is where very often in big companies you have a cultural um, challenge because you bring people who are moving very fast and you tend to have in big companies old school type of managers. They're not necessarily old, but they think the old way with annual reviews, with something that cannot change more than once a year. So I think it is very important to have people who have a mindset of going fast. Uh, it is very important to have a team of people who are focused on the objectives and that are really focused on delivering the results versus following a hierarchy. And in that sense, I think that digital is both forcing a cultural revolution, but also a digital revolution is only going to be successful if you manage to have this cultural revolution taking place in the company. I absolutely think that you need some centralization for the backbone infrastructure that is enabling uh, an efficient digital strategy. But then you need to have the business leaders having the authority and the flexibility to build on top of this backbone. The language of the CEO always comes back to metrics, which means what is it that we were trying to do? Why is this going to make us better? Whether it is a um, financial goal or a customer service goal or customer satisfaction goal, I think that is really important. So when you speak to the CEO about digital, you need to speak in a way that transforms it into how it is going to make your business better. And your business starts by being better, by better serving the customer. So digital for me is not a goal in itself.